Hello and welcome back to Retronatech. Now today I'll be showing you how to install Dance Dance Revolution on MAME. Dance Dance Revolution machines can be found in most arcades across the globe. They're developed by a company called Konami, which is a Japanese corporation that produces various toys and slot machines. Now the computer inside looks a little like this, and it's called a Konami Sys 573, and today that's what we're going to be emulating in MAME. So, as we're focusing on emulation, we all know that ROMs and CHDs are going to be required. So, before we start, here's a disclaimer. It's illegal to obtain a ROM or a CHD file without owning an original copy. You must either dump the files from your arcade machine or re-download the same files. To start, you're going to need to download the main emulator. Dance Dance Revolution will only work using main UI 1.6.8 and I've included both the 32-bit and the 64-bit download in the description below. You're also going to need the correct ROM and CHD files. I'll provide you with the correct file names in the description but due to legal reasons I can't provide you with the downloads. First, start by extracting the main folder from the zip file you downloaded to your desktop or a preferred location. Then, browse to the ROMs directory within the main folder. You'll need to drag your sys573.zip and your ddr.zip files to the ROMs folder. Then, create another folder within the ROMs folder called DDRA. Open the DDRA folder and drag the a45aaa02.chd into it. So now you should be ready to launch the file. Browse back to the main folder and launch main UI. In the search bar at the top of the program, simply enter DDRA and then the ROM should come up. Double click the ROM and MAME will launch. When you see this message, simply type OK and MAME will proceed to launch the game. Now, for SIS 573, F2 is the test button, so to initialize the flash ROM, you need to press this. The software will start to check the flash ROM. You can now speed up the process by pressing F9, which is the skip button. Press it until it says 10 out of 10, and then when it's loaded, quickly press F9 again. If all was done correctly, the ROM should now have loaded. The controls for the game are as follows. F2 is your test button for the System 537. Keys 1 and 2 are the select buttons. And your space key is your button for scrolling through the game menus. Now, going off script a little bit, I thought of a few practical applications um, as to what you could use uh, this software for. Um, so what you could do is you could purchase a USB or use a PlayStation 2 dance mat, obviously if it's for the PlayStation 2 you'll need an adapter, um, and use it in conjunction with this software, um, which is a great alternative to using things like Step Mania because, as you know, this is the official software for an arcade. I mean, you could even try and make your own sort of cabinet if you want. So there's lots of different practical applications you could do uh, with this game, or you could just run it just for the fun of it like I did. So uh, that's basically this video. I hope this video helped. Um, like I say, all of the links will be down in the description below. That's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and subscribe. And, uh, well, I'll see you in the next video.